everything is an organism. Uh, if if the cells in the intestine doesn't match with the cells in the heart, if they don't work together with the cells of the brain, so the body dies. And if every cell of the body wants to be the heart, like few people want, like we want to go and live in the fifth dimension, the heart of everything, well, that's a heart attack <laughs> for the system. Uh, too many people being enlightened. We need people working in the kidneys, like this <laughs> in mm -hmm. Earth. Uh, people working with the shit. Um, otherwise, we die. <laughs> so um, we need cells living these realities too. So because we are an organism, it's not like oh, but they live better. They have to deal with many things. We have to deal with our part, but we are the body. So. Uh, whatever we do here, even if it is very low in energy, is useful for many other beings in the body. We have a part of us living in the seventh dimension, not feeling anything and feeling everything at the same time. Um, the lighted ones, uh, they are holding the meaning of everything, um, but they cannot have any meaning if we don't do stuff. So it's us or the part of us in the third dimension that are able to, to give all these memories and all this information to the entire universe of how to live. And it's all about this perception of things that changed completely everything. It's not a good energy or a bad energy, it's how we approach that energy. Um, because, uh, for example, people is scared of an, of an earthquake for example, uh, or earthquake can kill people. Yeah, but if there is no earthquake, we wouldn't have this amazing view. But not only that, we wouldn't have evolution. And an earthquake for Earth is us doing this. <laughs> How many have died right now? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I'm relaxed. So, um, <laughs> so the the... There is no bad or good for the universe. It's releasing of energy. Yeah. So what we put as as bad energy or good energy is really a point of view, a perception of our morality. Mm. And uh, the universe doesn't have morality. I'm sorry if you have. <laughs> but but um, morality is something related to the place where we live and where we were born. Mm. Um, is a point of view of one place. That, that's what means morality. It comes from the word moraid. It's a place where you live. And it's how the people see from the place you live. So if you move and you change your place, you change your morality. You change the way you see the things. And the universe doesn't have a place. So it doesn't have morality. So it's not good, no bad. It's just how you approach to the energy. How do you want to leave that energy that you are experiencing. The body, the biology is, is the most perfect technology ever created by the spirit. And it's like, you have been designing the best car ever. And when it's ready, you say, no, I don't deserve this because <laughs> I'd rather be in the forest and, you know, <laughs> but, but I did it all my life and, you know, it's a, so let's drive a little bit. Every part, every part of, the body, of, of the body has a connection with the fourth, fifth and sixth dimension. Um, uh, seventh is another thing, but uh, until the sixth dimension, each part of your body is connected with entire divinity. Here, for example, in the sixth dimension, I, there are some beings that um, well, here in this third dimension too, but uh, suffering. Why do we have to suffer? And the suffering that we feel as individuals, when you put all that together as a suffering, there are beings in the sixth dimension that feel pleasure because they don't understand the amount of, um, of, of suffering as something bad, but as a conjunction of energy that is discharging in the body. 
like some people love to suffer, where there are beings that live because of that suffering that we create. And there are others that can feel the joy uh, very high. So, so anything, our body is like this machine that whenever you touch, you are modifying other realities. Like when you understand why your knee is hurting and suddenly you understand that this is connected with all your fathers and grandparents and all everybody. And when you do something with your leg, you heal all your history. And just by doing this. And um, it's a complete, complex and, and an incredible machine that the spiritual realm has created in order to be able to, to live their dreams, our dreams. Uh, so, um, like this planet, this planet was also for that. So, um, talking about the feminine and the, and the masculine energy, uh, both energies are within every human. Both energies are in every one of us. It's, uh, and biology just accomplished to manifest it physically and um, to manifest other things like keep going with evolution, like having kids and so on. But um, when we discover that that potentiality is within us, it's not in tools outside and that in every part of our body, we have the ability to connect with all that. So we will discover really the divine within, uh, which is not something hidden in a flesh suit. It's, uh, it's the flesh suit that embodies the spirit, the divine. Um, and if, when we see the body as something separate from the spirit, it's because we have been living in cultures that made us believe that we are trapped in a body, that our essence should be free from our body. Mm. Uh, if that would be like that, why not to kill ourselves right now? The body is the main machine to, to create. So it's a generator of energy all the time. Um, physically, emotionally, mentally, we are creating energy all the time. And that not only affects the world we live in, it, it's also affecting even other planets um, and other systems and dim dimensions. Uh, every decision, every action we do, we modify other realities. Using our body as a way of uh, modifying many things um, is, uh, is key to a great transformation. Um, because sometimes we feel that we are uh, dense in a very dense uh, way that we have to light up and go somewhere in the fifth dimension. But we have to remember that um, we are not what we are here, that we are just a tiny little part of our own reality. We are like the anchor of a boat. So the boat can sink if there is no an anchor. So our bodies are like the anchors for the entire being that we are. And if we are not here, present in this, in this um, world, so the boat can sink. The thing is that we have be, we, we, we should be connected with the, how do you say? Chain. Rope? Chain. Chain. Uh, to the boat, which is our connection. Otherwise, we are there and the boat leaves, <laughs> <laughs> which happens for many. <laughs> many boats going away <laughs> and many anchors here in the sand. 